Welcome back everyone to Pod Sauce Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 7, Episode 2 of A Game of Thrones, and we are playing with the Mother of Dragons expansion, and we're calling this uh, this season A Clash of Kings. Uh, we just wrapped up Round 1, pretty uneventful Round 1. Um, uh, maybe the first point of action was that House Targaryen was able to take Pentos. Uh, that gives them now a minus 1 to their um, Iron Bank. And we're going to advance this Iron Bank uh, cards here as well. And I think that's the Iron Bank cards, right? Is that the right cards? Or are these the Iron Bank cards? No, these are the Vassal cards here. Okay. And, um, okay, so we'll jump into it. Before we do, quick shout out to this channel sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. You've got the Genealogy of Cthulhu. Necromancy of Yarlethotep. We've got a bookstore link down in below. As you guys know, the channel is not yet monetized, so uh, if you check out the bookstore, it can help us out. Um, we've also got a Patreon where you can read uh, digital copies for as little as a dollar, and also you can check out our paint schedules for A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, we're going to be doing the Greyjoy set next. We just did the Targaryens. I did get a bunch of um, I got a bunch of new minis for A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, namely, uh, I got the High Garden Pikemen, and I got these Tully Cavaliers that are, that are going to be pretty fun to paint up. Tully Cavaliers, and uh, and I was also a call to call to action here for the channel. If you guys want to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, um, I wanted to um, see if there was any House of the Dragon mods for um, any of the Game of Thrones. Uh, games that are out there. So so let's get into it. So I'm going to put the first, we're in round two, I'm going to take the first dragon strength token. So our dragon strength is now one. And um, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, we'll start off with the Westeros phase. So we'll grab our first cards. As you guys know, in round one, Westeros phase gets skipped. So I'm going to go ahead and turn over the Westeros phase as well as the Essos phase. So we have uh, phase one. We've got adjust supply track, reconcile armies. So let's check out the supply track quickly. Um, I did not clean up these from the last round. So let me go clean these up. I just noticed that. So if we take our supply track, um, I think the only people that had advancements was Pentos, was, um, sorry, um, Targaryen. They have an extra castle now, so they can move up to two. And I believe Greyjoy got Seaguard, so Greyjoy can move up to two. And... Lannister got River Run. Lannister's moved up to two. So that's uh, a advancement there. Uh, River Run also has a new barrel, so Lannister will move up to three. Uh, nope. Uh, Seaguard also has a... Seaguard is also going to move Greyjoy up to three. And that's going to do it. That's just about going to do it. Oh, and also Kingswood moves our Baratheons up to three. So let's go from there. So we've adjusted the supplies. Let's go to the next one. Uh, the next one is a Game of Thrones. Let each player collect one power token for each icon printed on areas he controls. So we can go through and give... Uh, High Garden, one. Um, Targaryen, one. As well. One, two? No, one. High Garden, one. Let me start. Targaryen, one. Um, Baratheon gets one. Dorne gets one. 
Stark gets one. Lannister and uh, the Eerie. Okay, so let's get into it. Well, we'll go ahead now and we will uh, go to the third one. Wildings attack. The Wildings attack Westeros. So we'll grab a Wilding card. And it says, Wilding... Okay, the Masses on the Milk Water. So, Masses on the Milk Water. Lowest Bitter. If he has more than one house card in his hand, he discards uh, all cards with the highest combat strength. So, um, nobody, everyone has all their house cards. And uh, we'll just kind of randomly decide who has to discard some cards. We'll just do it. Let's, I'll just do a die roll. Uh, I'm going to get a die. I mean, die eight here. going to do it as a die roll. I think that's easier. We've got eight players. I'm not going to do the bidding because it's just as a solo player, it's too much. So I'm going to go in this dice bag and uh, we get a die eight. There we go. It's an eight sided die. Okay. So let's go ahead and Can roll this. One, two, three. Uh, we're gonna give Martell gonna discard a card, and they're gonna have to discard Arohota. So Arohota goes into the discard. Uh, we'll reset the Wilding deck, and that's gonna. Oops, that's gonna do it for our Wilding attack. Let's go to. Uh, the next card is the Essos phase. Essos phase, we've got um, playing with fire. The Targaryen player may discard one power token to choose one uncontrolled land area and one other player. Place one loyalty token and one unit from the chosen player of their choice in the chosen area. Okay, so... We get a Targaryen ally token placed somewhere. We're going to spend a power token. So we're going to spend a power token. We're going to get a Targaryen token. So we send this one back. And we'll place this one on... Uh, let's place it on Storm's End. Why not we place it on Storm's End? We're going to place it on Storm's End. And we'll put a Baratheon a piece on there. We're going to give the Baratheons... They get the chance to put a piece on this one. So we're actually increasing... The Baratheon army, but we have it loyalty to that. And then we also get to um, we also get to put River Run in the arbor, we get to put some tokens on. So we so on River Run and on the Arbor, we also have Targaryen loyalty tokens show up there. So that's gonna be the Essos phase. Uh, let's go into our planning phase. So we'll first off we'll go to we'll go just go one by one. And we'll start off with Baratheon. So Baratheon um, grab some tokens here. Let's see what they're gonna do. Uh, so I'm going to continue that motion that I was going to do last time. Uh, I'm going to give a support to this. All right. And a attack of this one. Put this one here as well. And we'll give this one a, a move up as well. Okay. So that'll be Baratheon. Next up is uh, Lannister. Lannister. Lannister is going to go ahead and place a token. 
uh, token a token and a My token here for Lannister. Oh, that's is it Lannister? Okay, Lannister. Okay, let's go over to next up is Stark. So Stark, uh, there they have Winterfell, White House, Storming Sea. Let's go ahead and give them a. I think we're going to give them some tokens for here, here and uh, here and here. Okay, so next up after Stark, we're going to go to House Martell, the Dornish. Dorn will go with a and do this, and we'll do um, Um, looking for the token for the march orders. Okay, and finally, uh, this one. Okay, so Dorn is set. They've got uh, from Sunspear and the Salt Shores, as well as the East Summer Sea. Next up is Greyjoy. Greyjoy, we will give them a another one of these. We'll also give them a this and a this. Okay, so that's Greyjoy. Next up, we have Hightower. Okay, we're just going to put this here, we're going to put this here, and we're going to put this here, Hightower. Uh, next up after Hightower is the Eerie. The Eerie, go ahead and make this move, make this move, and go ahead and play a move here. And finally, House Targaryen. House Targaryen. House Targaryen will go with uh, here, here, uh, here, here, and here. And that's going to do it. So let's do our reveal phase. Uh, we've got reveals. Uh, so we've got some marching orders, we've got some raid orders, we've got some uh, reinforcements, some marching orders, some uh, consolidate power tokens, you know at this phase of the game we're still building up resources so I think it's fair. 
that things are sort of a bit slower, but that's fine. So we got one dragon strength up there. Let's go ahead and uh, start out with um, Baratheon raid orders. We're going to start with Bar raid orders, no, no raid orders. There's a raid order for Lannister. Again, uh, subverting the order for uh, Greyjoy. So Greyjoy gets raided again because of their ranking. So this reshuffling the ranking can have this power on this, right? So we're going to go to Stark. They also have a raid order. They're going to kill this Aaron again. Uh, so that's two, two turns in a row that that took place. Uh, we'll go over to raid orders for um, Lannister. Off the board to high tower, high tower. And Dorn is going to do the raid order on the uh, Shipbreaker Bay against the Baratheons. And finally, uh, Bay of Pentos will get to raid this, I believe. So that's going to take that out. Uh, so they've taken their ability to collect on their um, tokens. Okay, so let's go into the march orders. Back to the top of the line. We'll do a march order to, from Storm's End, and then we'll do a march order into King's Landing for f three, four, five, six. So uh, Baratheons are able to take King's Landing, and we'll put a token there for that. Uh, take that order out. So Baratheons are now in King's Landing. Uh, the uh, next up is uh, Lannisters will move uh, into River Run from Lannisport. So that'll be their motion. We'll have the Starks also going to march down to Moat Kaelin. And next up is the Greyjoys. We're going to leave behind a token and march into the Twins. And the uh, High Garden will go ahead and march into the Reach. So High Garden reaches the Reach. We'll put a token there for them to have the Reach. Uh, and then lastly, Sunspear. They're going to march into the Ironwood. And they have three, four. So the Ironwood falls to um, Sunspear. So they do have another token. I'm also going to give them a token on the Salt Shore just to keep it, keep it clear for me that they've got that. Uh, obviously, the Sun Spear needs a token here. This is their home one, but I'll just put a token just to keep track of it. And any other march orders? Um, uh, this one's already cleared. Baratheon cleared. Uh, finally, we will have the ship. This ship will join out into the Bay of Pentos. And we will have um, our Bravos army move back to Pentos. And that's going to wrap it up for the action phase. Uh, we've got some consolidate powers, so we'll give a token to uh, Greyjoy. And we'll give a token to the Eerie. Oh, and actually the Eerie, they're going to move, sorry, I forgot, they were going to move to the Mountains of the Moon. And they also get their consolidate power token. And anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, Stark. Stark gets a consolidate power. That's going to wrap it up for round number two. I will move the token up to round number three. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.